I'm going to walk through how to take Max MSP and send data and video over a wireless home network. Uh, to have this set up, first of all, um, you need your computers all to be connected to just any basic home Wi Fi network. So on Max or on a Macintosh, you know, just that thing up there. I'm going to do this successfully over two Macintoshes and one PC. And the PC is hooked up to my uh, open frame netbook model. So to start off, I'm going to do it on two, um, two Apple computers. Uh, to get going though, to broadcast it, the object you're going to use to send out your data is called jit.net.send. Um, just open the help file to that and this is what it looks like. This is exactly the help file with the exception of these two messages which I will show you in a minute. Unfortunately, it's a little blurry so maybe I should have screencast this but this is easier. Um, so on your first uh, receiving computer uh, I'm going to go ahead and quit Max MSP I'm not going to save anything. What you have to do is open up, click on your Wi-Fi button, go to Open Network Preferences, and click on your airport connection. And on there, right here, it will show this computer's um, wireless IP address. So you need to take that number and add it into a message box that goes to the jit.net.send object. So you have a message box that will say IP space then the IP address of your computer that you're sending it to and then you have to click that message um, and also I notice it gives you two ports to try between. It gives you 8888 and 7474 uh, for whatever reason 8888 worked and 7474 didn't and I would presume if neither of those worked, just try different ports so you get one that works. So, and then if you click this box right there, it starts playing this video bar file. So when I set it to send to the IP address that I found on this computer, it's now broadcasting it to this guy. So what we're going to do is we're going to open up Max MSP. Um, I'm going to open a new patcher and I'm going to pull up, make a new object. It's going to be the jit.net.receive and I'm just going to go open the help file. Shift Apple H. Now, this help file, the reason I'm using this is because they're all built in to the software and you don't really have to do anything. So, I'm going to click IP Any, click port 8888. And as you can see, it's now receiving the same video file. So if I go on this computer and I pause the video, they both pause. There's a little bit of latency, but it's actually pretty good. And this is just going, there's no Ethernet cables connecting these. It's just going across through my uh, wireless modem or my wireless router. Um, now what I did for the PC on this computer um, I don't have the Max MSP demo anymore. I just have uh, an expired demo and I'm going to use the runtime. So what I did is I simply took this patch that's kind of annoying so I'm going to stop it for a moment. I went to file, build collective, I built a Max collective out of just this patch, put it on a thumb drive, loaded it onto that computer and it's now sitting on the desktop. So what I'm going to do is go into the start menu. Um, you'll go under cycling 74 max MSP and select the runtime. So we open up the runtime. Oh also um, while that's going down in the right corner click on your wireless network option go to open network and sharing center. 
Um, up here, it shows you, you know, access networks. It has my wireless network in my apartment here. Um, over here where it says connected, wireless network connection, then the name of the network, I'm going to click on that. And it brings up your wireless network connection status window. Um, and I'm going to hit details. And then right here where it says IPv4 address, it gives you the IP address of this computer on my network. So once again, one, now that you have that, <clears throat> you're going to have to make back in this one, you're going to make a new message box with the uh, new IP address that you just got off of uh, your Windows computer over here and then you're going to set it to that and I'm going to leave it on port 8888 because once again that one worked. So back to my runtime, you're going to go to file, open and I'm going to open that collective that I built that's literally just that help document that we just had on the uh, on the Apple computer. Um, you know, IP. Click on IP any, so it's listening to any incoming available address. I'm going to hit the port 88. Back on this computer, I'm going to turn that back on. So now that's going, and you can see it's going on the PC back there. So. Um, now, as you notice, um, it's only going on one or the other because on this window you select one or the other IP address. If you want to broadcast it to multiple computers, um, there's probably a way to do that. I've been messing with this for about 20 minutes and this is as far as I've gotten. So you could probably use multiple send objects or there's probably a way to send to multiple addresses. I, you just have to check the, uh, the reference files. But there you go, you have an Apple computer uh, running Max, or you could have, you know, it could be running a runtime application, um, sending over a wireless network to other instances. One is Max MSP running on the demo, the fully functioning demo. The other is just a patch saved as a runtime. So, there you have it.